Okay, so this is what it's going to look like for the buyer. It says $15. So what does that $15 mean? How much do I get to keep? How much does eBay keep? And how much do uh, it cost to ship? Oh, what up, guys? Matt Long 6 here. And today we will be listing all of these things on ebay i'm going to share with you guys what i do with my ebay store how do i list it all how do i know the price of all these things um i might end up also selling some to my local game store i'll have to do the math we're going to go over a spreadsheet that i'm going to create of expected value of all these items to see if we're even close to breaking 810 dollars as well as we're going to start tracking the actual value of these items anyways guys i hope that you enjoy this video and without further ado let's get started all right guys so the first thing we need to do is get these things listed and before we can even do that i need to take all these beanie babies i have in here and sell them in lots make them cheaper i don't know we need to get rid of these things i've had them for six months now we need to get rid of them so we're going to do that real quick and then i'll be right back and we'll start listing these all right, so now that we got all of them shoved over in that corner over there and they've been uh, lowered in value because I've had them for a little while, we can get to our uh, random gaming box over here of a plethora of different things that we have for sale. So I'm going to share with you guys how exactly I actually like to list things on eBay and then we're going to fill out a spreadsheet of how much we think we'll make from them. So we're going to start with let me just show you how to do it with a quick example we're going to pick the mario flower it's going to be the first thing we're going to list and let me get out my phone and share with you how exactly i like to do it okay so how i like to do it is i'm going to list on ebay today um almost everything i expect to be on ebay i may consider taking things to a game store but i don't know but go ahead and open up your ebay app and then click the little picture button up here and scan the barcode so after you scan the item what you're actually going to have to do is go to the filters and then i like to do buy it now so you only see buy it now and i click the little lock icon and then scroll down to the bottom hit more settings and scroll down even more and click sold items make sure that's checklist and then lock it then you can show results and you can see the price after the barcode is scanned, it'll tell you the value, if you're lucky, of what this is. So most people are paying about $12 for this item. Um, the way I like to do it is the free shipping. So we're going to go ahead and do that method. Now, if for some reason it doesn't have a barcode, another thing you can do is click the picture and then take a picture of it. And if you lock those settings, like I said before, it will actually show sold versions of this. However, if it is not able to um, take a picture of it, you're going to have to just search it up the old fashioned way and type it out. And then we are going to have to make sure that everything's good. So uh, we need to make sure that the title looks good. The FB6, what is that? I don't know. Now I have to figure out if this is the exact same model or whatever the number that is. And since I don't know what those numbers are, I sometimes just simply remove it. And we're going to need to take a photo. I'm going to do that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and scroll down to condition. Now this is new. So you can see this one went for like $12, but the one under it went for like $17 once you add shipping. So what I'm going to do, and this one went for $10, so it's kind of all over the place. I'm going to go ahead and slap a $15 uh, price tag on it, even though it suggests $12.90 because eBay does not keep in mind that I'm doing free shipping. So I'm going to go ahead and move it on over, calculate shipping, do free shipping. And then we're going to need to weigh it and stuff. So let me show you how I exactly do all that. All right, so to take photos, we're going to need this box. But right now we're in the shipment. So we're going to take care of shipping things first. Let me plug this in. My eyes! All right, so that is on. It is bright, I know. Here's my scale. Link in the description if you would like to buy this or this. 
so that way you guys can get started on your own little eBay business. I also am approved for Amazon seller app. I haven't tried that yet, but maybe I'll try to do some of the things on there. I don't know. So what we're gonna need to do since we're right here on shipment is we're gonna need to weigh it. Now this is only gonna be an estimate since you don't have it all packed up with all the bubble wrap and stuff that you need to keep it safe. So this says 3.5 ounces. So let's remove the pounds and add uh, four ounces. Um, shipping service, I almost always do first class if I can. Otherwise I'll do priority mail so that way I get the insurance. Um, let's go ahead and do calculate shipping. We're going to do it free. And then I like to sell internationally. All right. So, uh, to take the photo. We're going to go in here. I noticed now that it's a little ripped here. So we'll put that in the description. Go ahead and take a photo. Now I like to take lots of photos. So we're going to go ahead and rotate it and take lots of photos. And there you have it. Now, what I'm going to do now is lift it and then we're going to calculate the estimate value for this item that I will earn in profit. So let's go ahead and go through that calculations. Okay. So this is what it's going to look like for the buyer it says $15. So what does that $15 mean? How much do I get to keep? How much does eBay keep and how much do, uh, it costs to ship? So if you guys didn't know, there's a final value fee, which really matters when it comes to uh, eBay. So uh, for eBay, every single category is different. I think specifically for video games, it costs about 12% of the final value fee. And the final value fee is how much it costs plus shipping added together. And then you take that percent and that is the fees. So for video games, I believe it is 12% plus 30 cents um and then each category and then subcategory actually has different value fees and stuff so we're just going to stick with 12 percent for our estimate value so here i have uh, all the calculations already set up um for me so uh, right here let's say that the price of the item is at 15 dollars and then i have the uh, paypal fees because ebay you use paypal so don't look at that it doesn't matter and then i have ebay fees right here which are 12 percent uh plus 30 cents and then this right here will be shipping value. So how much does it cost to ship? Now we're just going to estimate, um, this was under a pound. So we're just going to say anything under a pound is about $4. Cause that's like first class shipping is normally around there. And then in the actual price, we will put in the real numbers and stuff. So we're going to say about $4 for first class shipping. That would bring us to have about $8.90. Now, of course, this is estimate. So that means maybe someone sends me an offer and I'm going to accept the offer for a lower price. Or maybe um, I lower the price or maybe I uh, take some of these video games to the local game store and they're going to be completely different than what we suggest here um and then uh, you'll also see this is how much i owe and stuff this is just other calculations so sometimes me and a buddy or my brother will buy something and then we'll go half halves these so he'll get half the money so it basically is this divided by two don't worry about that and then i got my tithe here so that way i can put my the m profit i made to my church so i keep track of that on my one of my apps and i'll show you guys maybe later um, which is 10% for me. That's what me and God decided. We're going to do 10%. Um, now we are also going to only do 10% of the profit. So we'll probably do how much I paid minus this. Anyways, we'll, we'll take care of that all later. Regardless, um, this is a whole bunch of other things. Don't worry about it. And all this other stuff. Don't worry about it. And then I do know a few items and how much I paid for them. Um, but the rest of it were all like mystery boxes. So you see I got $810 right here. Um, let's go ahead and convert all this into this spreadsheet right here. So the very first item we are selling is the, um, fire flower from Mario. So let's type that in fireflower Mario light. And we've learned that we're going to make about $8 and that 90 cents. And then it hasn't sold yet. So we can't figure out the actual profit. So we're going to go through and I'm going to fill out the spreadsheet and then get back with you guys later. Once I sell an item.
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, definitely be sure to hit that like button. As well, guys, if you're a hardcore fan, then definitely join the memberships down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and let's continue on with this video. So I'm listening to the Corvette right now, and I just wanted to say a quick shout out to uh, Phoenix Resale on YouTube and on whatnot because he has reunited my passion of wanting to uh, resell video games and things like that by just watching his videos and stuff. I know the Corvette's not video game stuff, but that stuff's video game stuff. Now I wanted to sell mainly video games, but these were just cool little mystery boxes. Don't forget to uh, use the link in the description on whatnot for me and you to both receive $10 when you use the link in the description down below. And also guys, another part of this challenge is I actually uninstalled Whatnot and I will only allow myself to reinstall Whatnot once I make my $800 back. So I hope that all this stuff makes it back for me. And guys, definitely if you wanna see me unbox this, then definitely go watch part one of this video and you can see everything I have back there uh, and I unbox it. It's really awesome and it would mean a lot to me if you went back and watched it. As well as I went to Goodwill the other day and bought all the video games and then sold them my local game store just to see if that would make a profit. Let me know if it was a good idea. Also, guys, if you see me doing something different than you would um, on eBay, like I know I'm going to get in, you guys are going to like yell at me in the comments for not putting a very good description. Um, usually my pictures are just my description, um, but I would love to have any feedback from you guys. So as long as you tell me nicely and not in a mean way, I'll appreciate it. So. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and list all of these. I'll let you know if there's anything interesting while listing any of these, like the one's a higher price than I thought. So, yeah. So while listing at Tetris, I noticed that it is a little dirty. You can see the smudge on there. Anyways, nothing a Clorox wipe can't fix. So definitely make sure that you clean whatever you're sitting out and inspect it while you're listing it and stuff. Okay guys, so I just scanned the Young Link Amiibo that we got and it looks like it's going for like 50, 60 dollars. I don't know what I'm going to list it at, but that's awesome. As well as this Zelda Ocarina of Time that is an N64 cartridge. This is, I was going to list it for like 30, but eBay suggested to list it at 43, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And so, yeah, I'll let you know I got... I still have a lot to do as you can tell but i went through all of the actual games okay so i have everything listed here on ebay except for the bowser castle that we will do together real quick and then we'll take a look at the spreadsheet so let's take a look at this castle all right so the castle i mean and you'll see 50 dollars 35 dollars i don't know i'm gonna list it for 50 for now and then we'll see in the future if I get a different offer or if I lower the price, I don't know. I can always do that. But we're going to start at the higher price since this is the first time of me listing it. Okay, now that we got it listed, let's go ahead and take a look at our spreadsheet. But before we do, can you believe that it all fits? All that stuff that was on this table fits in this little tote over here. I mean, I got a few things on the side, but that's insane. Okay, so we have 40 items that I got. In fact, there's one more item on the way um, I realize is actually missing. So we're going to list that when, once we get it. Um, and then we have, uh, the reason it's 40 and not 41 items is because line one is the name item and stuff. All right, so we need to figure out the total. Now remember, this is like expected profit. This is after taking out the final value fee that eBay gives as well as taking out shipping. Hopefully someone buys more than one thing and I can combine shipping to save money for me. And since it's free shipping, sadly it doesn't save money for them, but that's one cost doing free shipping. However, they can say, hey, I wanna buy more than one thing and send me an offer saying they wanna buy more than one thing and I'll consider the uh, combined shipment and how much I'll save in the offer. So uh, let me go ahead and this is gonna be the first time that we're gonna add up all these numbers and I hope it's over $810. Because otherwise, I don't know if I'll ever be able to download Whatnot again. 
and I do think this was a stupid idea and a stupid video idea. I really don't think it's going to be $800. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Equals. $500. Okay, so I'm $300 in the hole. Um, so now you know not to be stupid and just go buy a whole bunch of random mystery boxes like I did. I know it was a stupid idea, but hey, I did it. Um, and you got to see me list some things on eBay and learn a little bit about eBay. You got to see me unbox them. That was really fun. As the, well as I get to make two YouTube videos out of this now. And yeah, if you guys would like to see like how long this stuff takes to sell or if you'd like to see me showing you how I actually sell things and stuff on that side of things, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you just prefer watching me open mystery boxes and stuff like that, that would be great feedback from you guys. Please like this video if you liked it. Watch part one if you haven't already. Use my link to download whatnot and go ahead follow me on there don't sell on there but maybe i will in the future anyways guys love you thank you so much for watching and as always guys stay safe stay active and stay healthy and god bless peace next time on mystery box profit comeback i take my video games to the local game store game on okay guys so i got all of the stuff back here um we're at game on I meet the owner where I haggle for the best prices. $30 on the Young Link Amiibo. Yeah, so what do you do, 35? 33, and then you don't yeah, have to we'll pack or anything? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. we'll meet in the middle, 33. Will my local game store give me my money back that I paid for these mystery boxes? Include the fire flower, I'll get you out of here, because you also have to pay tax on that. Subscribe to find out.